Hello, this is John Baker again with another NX Quick Tip. Today we're going to talk about some enhancements that we've done in NX10 drafting. What we have here is a uh, broken view. I, the, this, this piece of geometry is actually uh, much longer than what I could possibly put on a drawing. So when I created my views, I created them as what we call a broken view. But now I need to add a dimension to this view that actually represents how long this part is. So we go and place our dimension and I'm going to put a linear dimension from this end of the shaft to this end of the shaft. As you can see it's a thousand millimeters long but in reality if I just leave that dimension there it could be misleading because while the part is, is actually a thousand millimeters long the drawing view isn't a thousand millimeters. So we have a way of indicating that and that is that we add what we call foreshortening symbols. So I can add the foreshortening symbols here to the drawing to the dimension and now it indicates that the dimension is accurate. This shaft actually is a thousand millimeters long but these symbols indicate that as far as the drawing is concerned it is an out of scale dimension. And uh, we have some options here. I can actually come in here and change this because we have a different foreshortening symbol. We have this is what I call a regular symbol but we also have a stretch symbol and some people prefer to use the stretch symbol. So we're covering both standards. Now a similar issue is again I have a part here that is out of scale or at least the drawing is out of scale. The part itself is much longer but there was really of no interest to the other end. It's just, it's just another end of, the, of this piece of steel. So we've created again it's a different type of broken view but in this case it's just a single ended view. So all I have is just a part of it. But yet I now want to still put a dimension that goes from one end of this all the way to the other. So we have a different type of dimension and in that case we just go ahead and pick the, the, the geometry and it, it says that this geometry, it, it indicates, it knows that it's long, it, it extends the arrow out there but I need to come out here and actually take that arrow and select the end of it and come up here and say that I want to create what we call a single sided dimension. So display is a single sided, there's a little feedback to show you what I mean by single sided and in this case I need to just switch it to the other side because that's, that's kind of where it, it came up and so now I come up here and I can indicate that I want to put a double arrowhead which is the indication that it's out of scale. I can also drag this out give it just a little bit more uh, room there and now let's move the dimension back and place it and so now we have this out of scale dimension. In this case the double arrowheads are indicating that it's out of scale because it's, it's, it's telling you that it's actually dimensioning out to a theoretical line which obviously is the other end of this piece of channel iron. So again You've seen two different ways of adding dimensions to drawings which, are, which the views do not actually represent the, exactly what it looks like but in a foreshortened or a in this case broken view manner because these parts were larger than was practical to put on a drawing uh, it, otherwise we'd lose a lot of detail if we put them on as full scale. So this is a very common practice and so these are the new tools that we're adding for NX10 to cover this. Thank you very much.